How's it going, you outlaw legends? I am Red Nitrate, your resident Red Dead addict, and welcome into my Red Dead Redemption 2 Out of Bounds exploration video featuring John Marston in Guama. Today we'll be using the unreliable but always fun bridge glitch, <laughs> for which you will need tomahawks and or throwing knives. The bridge is over here in New Austin, making it only accessible in the epilogue part of the game. Keep launching your throwing knives or tomahawks right here, and then once you get a little luck on your side and happen to hit the right spot, So here we are. It still blows my mind that you can survive such a fall. Quirks of the uh, of the bridge glitch, I suppose. But yeah, as you can see, we've travelled from the location that I showed you before all the way over here and out of bounds. Next thing to do, of course, is plot a course for Guama and get our journey underway.
I'd been riding along the bottom border of the map for some time, with the view in front of me only getting more and more inconsistent, and honestly I was starting to worry that I'd gone the wrong way. Mercifully though, the terrain started to change and everything was looking a lot more lush and green, which told me I was heading in the right direction, and fortunately I was. Then the terrain and textures started getting all kinds of funky. Not only was there a stark comparison like you see in front of you, but there was also an obvious height variance where there clearly shouldn't be. Something we'll see again in just a little bit. It just gets glitchier and glitchier as we go along, with map segments literally separating here, showing a big gaping hole into the abyss below. Naturally, I tried my best to stay away from it. And yes, we're going straight through trees. Another quirk of the out of bounds map, I suppose. <laughs>
les traen los vivos o muertos. Nos vemos atrás. How cool was that? I can't believe I actually got a random encounter to spawn here, even though we're well outside of the, the usual chapter 5 parameters of the story. That totally blew me away. And here we are, folks. Guama, baby. We finally made it. It's not quite Tahiti, but I'll take it anyway. <laughs> Surprisingly, all of the supplies that are normally provided for the Chapter 5 missions are still spawning here. Food and ammo are popping. I was quite surprised by this, but I guess it kind of makes sense. And here are the remnants from the other random encounter that's available in Guama. I completed this during my normal playthrough, so I found it interesting to see that it remembered what you did and what you didn't do, kind of giving you the option to spawn it later, even if you happen to visit unconventionally like we're doing with John here. After exploring the available area thoroughly and observing everything outside of the forbidden red zones, I decided to brave the invisible sniper and try to get deeper into the island. It didn't go well, as you'll see here. <laughs> So yep, as you can see there, a total failure on that part. <laughs> it really annoyed me that the sniper was still in play, as there's really very little you can do to avoid it. I tried everything I could to get around it, up to and including using a pig as a bloody meat shield, but still no luck. <laughs> Without being able to breach the guarded areas, I was just about out of things to explore and I was going to call it a day, until I remembered about the caves that lead to Javier's rescue during Chapter 5, so I decided I'd go and check them out as well.
as you can see, to my surprise, all of the tunnel routes are completely accessible. However, unfortunately, you can't get through the gate at the end, but I guess that's to be expected. With that done and dusted, I tried to make my way back out of the caves and, well, this happened. <laughs> What an absolutely awesome experience this whole thing has been. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. This has been one of my favourite projects so far. I had so much fun with this. If you did enjoy it though, please hit the like button down below and consider subscribing for future Red Dead Redemption 2 and Rockstar Games related content. Until next time ladies and gentlemen, I am Rad Nitrate. Stay legendary everyone. Bye now.